Good morning from Bush Gardens in Tampa. Are you excited to be here, Stevie? I am. I've been looking forward to this. Uh, it's a nice mix of roller coasters and animals here. If we get time to see them, it's the roller coaster marching man. Uh, obviously, like we're trying to prioritise getting on all the rides. But it'd be nice to explore more of the parks got to offer as well, because it is. It does already. It looks like a really beautiful park. Lots, loads to see. We like. Uh, after this bit, we'll drop a little clip in of some uh, crocodiles that we've just seen on the way into the park. They are crazy. I can't believe how still you can say. Yeah, you thought they were uh, like rocks or yeah. like fake. I didn't know if they were real. <laughs> but we're heading into the park itself now and have the park properly. And I think we're going to go on cheetah hunt first. And Stevie's, uh, Stevie's been looking up cheetah hunt and she thinks she's going to like that one the best. Launching up. Are you excited to go on Cheetah Hunt? It doesn't look as fast as I thought it'd be. That's like the, the slow pacing bit when the cheetah's stalking its prey. <laughs> it does go. It's a big coaster cheat hunt in terms of the track length. Obviously, it's going all the way down there. Got a big footprint, Stevie. What? Footprint. The, the ride's got a big footprint. It takes up a lot of space. Alright. Shit. Big footprint somewhere. It's like an animal footprint. No, it's deep. Need to find the ride entrance first, actually. I'm sure it's probably this way, remember? It looks like quite a quiet day so far. But it's like first thing. Yeah. Fingers crossed, because uh, obviously we really want to get on all the rides today. We haven't bought the Quick Q like we did at SeaWorld. It is a little bit more expensive here. And oh, there's penguins as well. Stevie's already loving Bush Gardens. Seen some crocodiles, there's some penguins here. I feel like this is probably the wrong way to get on Cheetah Hunt, because we seem to be going further away from it. Hello penguins, do you know where Cheetah Hunt's entrance is, Mr. Penguin? Don't think Looks like do. he couldn't curl left. No. Is he splooshing? That looks really relaxing actually, I wish I could sploosh. <laughs> <laughs> Crocodile Stevie. And a turtle too. Very brave so. <laughs> Sat in the middle of all the crocodiles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just getting comfy. No, the one's like, no, I'm not comfy. Apparently there's cheetahs in there somewhere. Can you see the cheetahs? Might be. Yeah, they might be down there or they might be in the back somewhere. Here's Cheetah Hunt. As with SeaWorld, Bush Gardens does allow filming on ride with a properly, properly strapped GoPro. So we should be able to get an on-ride POV. Ladies and gentlemen, on the coaster, if you can hear me, raise your hand. Sorry about that. Um, right now we're having an issue with the technician found their way with that situation. Oh no. Just shortly, so please just remain seated. Never mind, Cheetah Hunt. Apologize for the issue. There's Cheetah Hedge, and Cheetah Hunt is currently broken. Might but well just heard an announcement. People are still going in the queue for it, so might as well just wait. Because we all want to do it anyway. Well, as we'll go on another ride, there's loads of other rides here. They're all closed at the minute. They're not. Not the No. We'll go, uh, I think Montu's over this way. We'll go on Montu instead. We'll go on Montu instead. Cheetah Hunt is currently closed for a technical issue. So we'll come back to Cheetah Hunt shortly. Having quite a, ride, uh, quite a lot of ride closures for a lot Yeah, we broke down on Forbidden Journey yesterday yeah. at uh, Universal Islands of Adventure. Proper like rep the magic. 
Harry Potter and the Magic Warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> Not the same. The transfer track coming back with a different train. Hopefully this train works better than this train. I'm guessing they have to send this train round to get back to the... Yeah. Gas. Soon though this train's got a fault on it. The engineer will probably override it to send it. Yeah. And it. And it. Please stand behind the white line. The gates are now closing. food up again. <laughs> so far we've uh, done Cobra's Curse and uh, Montu. Yeah, the Cobra's Curse started filming the POV but then uh, we, we got put on the back road. It was just like... And had the chest mount so it was just like a uh, POV view of a uh, headrest. Can you do so wrist mounts here though? Yeah, you can do wrist mounts. So we, we may go back on there later like, either yeah. try and get on the front row or um, go on with the wrist mount and use the wrist mount instead. I think also in our car the weight was fairly balanced and we didn't really spin Yeah, we didn't, that we didn't spin much on the on Cobra's Curse. And then um, the Montu, Montu were in the queue and then it had a little technical difficulty, which was a, uh, basically there was an issue with one of the trains, the restraints not locking. So they had to swap the trains around, which took sort of probably 20 minutes or so while we did that. Yeah, I went to long. And then the train that we were on on the ride there was like a brand new train that had just come out of the garage. So it felt a little bit slow to be yeah, honest. Very slow. But to the point where it made me feel a bit queasy going over some of the. Uh, is it a pretzel? I don't forget the pretzel. What, like? Where it's like it goes like that. Yeah. And then goes down and then it does the same on the other side. Like I think that's a back wing. Okay, that I think, bit, that I bit think that's what it's called. Bit queasy. I have my descriptions of the stuff. I do this and Alan knows what I'm talking about. We'll, we'll go back on that later, I think. Yeah, when it's warmed up a bit. Yeah, it's. Uh, I can imagine it'd be a lot better when it's warmed up, but it was running a little bit slow then. I was expecting it to be the best thing ever, better than Nemesis. And it's. Uh, Thingy. Well, so Mako's already kind of topples at the top. Yeah. And that, for me, that was nowhere near as good as Mako. We'll see. We'll, we'll keep um, we'll keep going around the ride. Cheat Hunters have got a 25 minute wait at the moment, which is quite longer than we're willing to queue today. I'm debating whether to have a look at some other rides or whether to buy Quick Queue because Quick Queue Unlimited is only $20 each year as it is at SeaWorld. Uh, apart from Tigris. 
Apart, yeah, that doesn't include Tigris, uh, unless you want to pay forty dollars, which we don't. I just queue for that. But we'll uh, when the the problem is the uh, the app at the moment isn't loading the wait time so I can't see what they're like around the park. Yeah. Whether Cheat Hunt's just got a bit of a long one at the moment or whether it's the uh, it's like this around the park. We did see it from the top of Montu. The carping uh, the carping park. <laughs> the car park looked uh, It's a hot day. <laughs> looked pretty empty. It is a hot day. I've not got my sunglasses on because I thought we were going straight on Cheat Hunt. There you go. It's like you've got them on for real now. Well, I've just got a hand on my face. <laughs> yeah, we'll go and decide what we're doing. There goes Cheetah Hump, which we're not going on for now because that's got a 30 minute queue but all the other rides in the park have got a 5 minute queue so that's the queue not to be in at the moment Well the Tigris then, it's not as far from it Tigris is like at the back of the park we've got to walk past a bunch of other rides to get there so I think we're going to go on uh, Tigris, the new ride for this year it's, uh, while it's got a short queue, maybe the queue will get a little bit longer for that later in the day. I imagine that's going to be the biggest draw for people here. So we'll go and head to that one next and then work our way around the park from there. Stevie's been distracted by Christmas teddies. It's the softest thing I've ever found. It's a squash mallow pencil. Ah, oh, very soft. $22.99. Ooh. A little bit of a range of Christmas stuff in there. The Christmas stuff at Christmas uh, celebration, Christmas town, as they call it here, at Bush Gardens starts this Saturday. That's why we're still here, but I'm not sure if we're going to make it back to Bush Gardens again. No, it's quite a drive out, and we've got so many other things that we're doing. I think we're just here for today. Yeah. So much to fit in. Yes, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a very big park. This. It's. Uh, Obviously, good selection of roller coasters, and there's uh, a safari train that we're going to go on as well. We're going to go and see some animals on there. It's a statue of a lion. It take me on then. It's that yeah, lion face. You can of course see Iron Guazi over there as well. Due to open Iron Guazi, wow. other wooden coaster that they've remodelled to make this was called Guazi right. and that's going to be called Iron Guazi they're doing an RMC conversion Ooh. and hear them working on it at the moment so sadly this is the first time that I've ever seen an RMC coaster in person but we won't be able to ride it because oh, can come back. we can come back we're already talking about it in the car on the way there We'll come back to you, Iron Guazi. Your lift hill's not even finished yet. <laughs> it looks very daunting, just like ending like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go on that yet. <laughs> Some signs telling you that op Iron Guazi will open next year. Can I see, like an alligator or like an angry snake? Eh, it's whatever you want it to be. Because you were passing there, maybe a snake? Yeah, I think it's a snake, isn't it? Maybe Guaz is the type of snake. Maybe? Yeah, we'll go with that. I reckon that's a good theory. Usually you know these kind of things I was looking at you for. No, not a, wildlife's not a strong point. Oh my word, there's a Christmas sloth. Christmas sloth. Looks like it's going to be North America's tallest hybrid coaster, the world's fastest hybrid coaster, and the world's steepest hybrid coaster. Mm -hmm. It's exciting, isn't it? Christmas sloths are also exciting, of course. It's incredibly exciting, and I can't believe you dismissed them so easily. They are just soft headed with a pot t shirt on, though. Yeah. That's a uh, good intuition, that. There's some swans in love. There's a squirrel on a tree behind it. Squirrel on a tree. Oh, yeah. See, he's got a tail. Yeah. Like he's watching something. Watching the swans in love. There's a load of big dragonflies or something buzzing around there as well. We were just saying that it's a very pretty park. Very pretty park. I don't feel like you're the theme park, so you can't roll across. Yeah. A little river. Going underneath the bridge. Oh, yeah. There's some birdies over there. The interactive kangaroo experience. This song is the perfect choice for this part of the park. 
because it's copyrighted music, so you'll have to guess what it is. <laughs> there you go, that's all you need to know. Look at the flamingos. Been eating lots of shrimp, those ones, because they're nice and pink. I'm being wished a Merry Christmas. I said Christmas Town doesn't start until Saturday, but obviously all the theming is in place now. And even a little bit of Christmas music. I think we're actually entering, what, what have you seen now? Oh, that's an interesting looking birdie, isn't it? Oh, you're awesome. It's a, it's a red knobbed hornbill. Red knobbed hornbill. Can you see it's red knob on the head? That's what it is. We're still on our way to Tigris, by the way. We're just uh, this is where we're walking through on the way. Stevie spotted the, we're in the Sesame Street area of the park. <laughs> a cookie monster on it. It's like strange. I know. Straight out of Sesame Street. <laughs> you want that one? I can't do it. Twenty-five dollars. that's about how much the t-shirts have been in both. It's the best top of this material. The, the best tops of Disney have been like I'm thirty-five, haven't they? Yes. Yeah. Looking forward to Sheikra. I'm a big fan of Oblivion and Alton Towers. Stevie's. Well, I don't know what she's doing. I was being Jack Frost looking at your nose. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, because he was on the song. Oh. <laughs> I was looking at Shikra. Shikra. Are you back here? You like Oblivion, don't you? Yeah. Hopefully, you will also like Shikra. It's Tigress, which currently has a five minute queue, which is good for the new attraction this year. Stevie's edging towards lockers. Time to put stuff in a locker. Are you ready for Tigra? Tigra. It's a handy handle here where I can hold the GoPro. Handy
Concentrating because we got some food. Yeah, we we're both pretty hungry, so we've done tigris and shikra. And what do you think? Shikra's brilliant. I really like shikra. Yeah, I did, did really enjoy shikra. That's... Tigris, not so much. It's a good ride. They're very uncomfortable. The restraints are horrible, aren't they? Yeah. Those, uh, they cut. They're called comfort collars as well. Not comfortable. It's really. It, I it's a really fun ride. But like, because it goes a bit slow on the twisty bit before you come back down, that made me a bit queasy and then the restraints hurt a lot. Yeah. So I probably wouldn't do that again. Yes, if we get time later I may go back on, on the front row with a chest melt and film the uh, front row POV, but I'm not desperate to go back on it, to be Just honest. Leave me with a snack in the shade, I'll be pretty happy. Yeah. But for now, talking of food, Stevie's got a chicken tenders meal. Healthy. Healthy. Bits of paper blowing around everywhere. It's quite windy here by Shikra. I got a chili cheese dog meal, which is equally as healthy. But we're both pretty hungry. We only, had, we only had a really small breakfast this morning, rather than the usual big one. Cereal house. Yeah. Are you watching the tiger? <laughs> it's relaxing in the hot sun. I'll just We've got so much Were you surprised by the sound of Falcon's Fury then? Yeah. Are you looking forward to going on that in a bit? Yeah. <laughs> How refreshing does that look down there? That's lovely, doesn't it? Lovely little light oasis for a moment. Go for a dip with the tiger. <laughs> now it's time to ride Kumba, which is a very exciting moment for me. First time ever on this coaster. It's been here since 1993. I've been seeing it in all those holiday brochures in the 1990s. This is my first ever time actually at Bush Gardens. We got on come back for the first ever time.
that was good, that wasn't it? It's Falcon's Fury, which is our next destination. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> You can do it. No. It would be just fine. What is that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ripping my arm. <laughs> that doesn't fall as fast as detonator to me. It's like five times as big. I know, but look, the first brakes are like right at the top. Look at it all. Extending. It's not extending, the, like the basket that pulls it up to the top is coming back down oh. again. I thought it was growing. Shall <laughs> <laughs> we go on it? Right False like perspective. I think we can go on it now. You, know, uh, you can do it. Not, like, play for a cute teddy or something instead. What is that? That is horrible. Loads of fun, that's what it is. Oh dear. So Stevie's very excited to do Falcon's Fury, as you can tell. <laughs> I this is one of the biggest in the world, if not, if not the biggest in the world. You're locked in now. I know. Are you closing your eyes and pretending it's not happening? Iron under construction. Oh my life, it's like I'm in a plane. <laughs> <laughs> this is high. It's got to be near the top now. Yeah, it makes you get long oh, come on. <laughs> really? That's a long way down, isn't it? Oh man! Oh my god! We're gonna fall! We're gonna fall, baby! Oh god! <laughs> Wild Mouse, then, or uh, standard Looping Coaster from 1980. Wild Mouse. 
we're going the Wild Mouse next, the Mac Wild Mouse coaster. What's Scorpion? Uh, the Sand Serpent. Oh, what's Scorpion then? Scorpion is the uh, looping coaster behind us. So next up is the Sand Serpent, which is our Mac Wild Mouse coaster. I think this is the first Mac Wild Mouse coaster that we've been on, Stevie. <laughs> is that exciting? <laughs> Welcome to the Sand Serpent. They just might be called the Sand Serpent. It's <laughs> the word of earth for like <laughs> five minutes straight. Welcome to the Sand Serpent. Are you excited for the Sand Serpent? Ooh, that's the thing. Is this a good idea after all that sugar? No. This might hurt. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. Wee. Oh, man. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Break it. Slammy, slammy. Oh, no. 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 Oh, It's a painful kind of fun pain. Wee! That was an experience. It was. <laughs> that was entertaining. <laughs> I got there like for all I see everyone. Just be a multicolored rainbow cube. Wild mouse rainbow. Gather all personal belongings. Watch your step as you exit to the right and down the ramp. Some construction work going on there for Iron Guazi. Really interesting to see the coaster being built. I went on that. Uh, I went on uh, that. <laughs> You know, we're very zoomed in. Hang on, hang on, we're unzooming. Zooming out. I was up there. Did you go all the way up there? Yeah. Is you, were you okay? No. <laughs> you were, you, you said you'd go back on it again I now. I'd go back on it, I just closed my eyes on the way up. <laughs> it was going up slow that you didn't like. Yeah. The falling face first to the ground was fine. It felt quite gentle. It was. Yeah. It, it was quite, a, it felt like a controlled fall. Yeah. Well, I find detonator a lot worse than that. Yeah, detonator's definitely scarier than that because detonator, you feel like there's more free fall going on. Detonator, I feel like I'm falling to my end. Yeah. I was looking for a word then and I was trying to think of something about it. <laughs> but that's what I've got. What about the sand serpent? What do you think of that? Painful but fun. It was. It's a, just as you'd expect from a wild mouse, really. It threw you about a bit, yeah. but it was a lot of fun. So I really want to go look at these. Lizards. There's some lizards Not over there. Real. Oh, there's just it's a decoration of lizards on the wall. Uh, yeah, they are snazzy. There's some butterflies as well. Very like multicolored. It is a lovely park, isn't it? Yeah. Really yeah, nicely themed. Yeah. Lovely detail everywhere. When he got. We've just got two more rides to do from all the major rides. Scorpion. Got to do Scorpion and Cheetah Hunt, which are both on five minute waits according to the app. Yeah. I'm quite excited for Scorpion personally because it's exactly the same type of coaster as the Tower of Temer. <laughs> the Tower of Temer. The Tower of Terror that used to be at Camelot. <laughs> Tower of what? You are? Tenor. The Tenor. Oh, like a singer. Come on. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. 
don't anyway, know why I bother. I was, I was having a moment there. I get my own humour. <laughs> <laughs> Even I if said, you I said, don't. I said, I said Temmer, not Tenor. Oh, I thought you said Tenor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the Scorpion is exactly the same layout as Tower of Terror at What's Camelot. What's Tenor sound like? Like, oh. Is that not Marital? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Scorp Scorpion is the same layout as Tower of Terror at Camelot theme park in the UK it used to be, which is the first ever looping coaster that I went on in the late 1990s. That's exciting, isn't it? You get to go on. Yeah, there you go. You get to go on the first ever looping coaster that I went on in my roller coaster youth. More loops. It is. It's only one loop. This is it. This is a 1980. Schwarzkopf Silver Arrow Looping Coaster. I told you Schwarzkopf do her stuff. No. I do. He moved, he'd had enough of roller coasters and he thought, you know what? I'm going to make shampoo instead now. What shampoo instead, I? <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's very reminiscent, this. Obviously, Tower of Terror had a big polished Irene castle in the middle. You sit me on the head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was instructing the viewers as to where the big polished Irene castle was on Tower of Terror. Was around the loop, right here. This is exactly the same. It's exactly the same as Tower of Temer Terror. I can't, I can't say oh. Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. I like it. Should we go on it? It might be broke. Either that, or they're, they're like waiting for enough people to fill a train. Whereas we want to go in the front row because we got. It's just not going. They're going on now. We need to go on the front, Stevie, so we can film the old POV. <laughs> Lovely and smooth, this lift hill. Yeah. I'm dubious. Oh, it's, memory. it's memories of Camelot, this, Stevie. I don't remember this. Memories of the Tower of Terror. I must have been before I started going. Considering it's nearly 40 years old, that's quite smooth. Yeah. I thought it'd be a lot, lot worse. I enjoyed that. That was pretty good, actually, Scorpion. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it was good. They do, uh, they do have good reputation, those old Schwarzkopf looping coasters. It looked like it was going to be the most painful bag of all I've ever been on in my life. It, it does look like a proper bag of spanners yeah. to look at it. But it was actually pretty smooth for its age. There was like a little bit where it felt a little rough. We didn't last very long and most of it was pretty smooth. Maybe further back in the train. Yeah, we were on the front. Well, we were on the front row and it was, uh, it was absolutely fine, it was fairly smooth. Yeah. Considering it was quite loud under this bridge, didn't it? Have you spotted? An elephant. We saw an elephant. We're just on our way to Cheetah Hump, but we'll go and see the elephant first. <laughs> I have promised Stevie, once we've done smashing a load of roller coasters, we're going to spend a bit of time looking at some animals. Elephant. But we'll make a fixed stop on the way to Cheetah Hunt yeah. for a nice elephant. Do you like the elephant? Yeah. <laughs> Waving to you with its trunk. I love how big the areas are at the other end. Yeah, they've got loads of room to move around in, haven't they? They're in quite a small bit here, but it carries on all the way down there. Yeah, they can walk all the way around there and then it goes off all the way up there as well. Definitely, uh, one thing I'm impressed with the bush gardens is like, the animal enclosures are big, aren't they? Huge, yeah. 
loads of room for an animal enclosure with a roller coaster through it. I think we can look at the animals while we're on the roller coaster. Yeah, I like the little topiaries everywhere as well. A hidden giraffe. It's giraffe tastic. I haven't seen cheetah hunt going round yet. I hope it's not broken again. Oh no, I can hear it now. I think I heard it. I think I heard the call of the wild cheetah hunt. Are you sure? Maybe. <laughs> I can screaming. hear sun screaming. Cheetah hunt. Sounds like it's coming this way. Cheetah hunt. There you go. Obviously, doesn't bother the animal. No, the, the those deer didn't even like budge from eating grass. Then. Really off topic, but one thing I've loved about here and the Sea World is the fact this is going to be a bit gross, but I think it's really, really good. We have little areas for doggies to relieve themselves. Oh, for the service dogs. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. They got a dog poop lawn. We have, but I think that's <laughs> such a nice idea, though. Yeah, because like Disney lets service animals in, but they don't advertise like this is where your dog can go. Not poop. that I'm aware of, anyway. Yeah. I've never seen that in a UK park anywhere, anyway. Nah. Anywhere, anywhere. Basically, it's very friendly for uh, service animals, isn't yeah, it? I love that. Obviously, I don't want to go wandering around it and like, oh, I love that poop. Or well, like, I, think it's a really good idea. <laughs> I love that poop. I love that poop. Moving swiftly on, Steve. There's a doggy doggy. Yeah. It's a bulldog. There's a cheetah hunt coming as well. I think cheetah hunts on two trains by the looks of it. I wonder if it's got a name. Bad boy. What's his name? It's called Bad Boy. Here we go, first ever time on Cheetah Hunt.
That was good. Yep. <laughs> Wild Steven. Straight off a cheetah hunt. Here's a cheetah. Yeah, it's just come out for an afternoon walk. Now the sun's gone out to hide. There's another cheetah coming the other way. How close you can get to the cheetah. Hi, cheetah. It's gone for a wander over there. It wants to go on its ride, you see. It's the other one. You're sneaking on me. <laughs> They're both here. Whoa! It's gone again. Can we stop the zoomies? Yeah. All time. On the train now. Thank you. I thought it was. Uh, we look to your left and your right, and you see these green and gold coaster tracks we are going under. That is Cheetah Hunt. Cheetah That's Hunt what is a just magnetic been on. launch coaster. It Cheetah has amazing, three magnetic launches that will take you from zero yeah. to Cheetah it's in seconds. Really. Cheetah being 60 it's a lot of fun. miles per We'll talk about Cheetah Hunt later. Yeah. Like we're on the train ride now, as you can tell. Well, that's a nice view of Cheetah Hunt there. It's Cobra's Curse. Cobra's Curse is a family friendly roller coaster. It will take you forwards, it will take you backwards. It will spin you around, but it does not go upside down. It will, however, bring you up a vertical elevator style lift as you come face to face with the 80 foot Snake King. Now, coming up on your right hand side, that blue and beige coaster is our not so family friendly roller coaster, Montu. Now, Montu means God of War. It is one of the tallest and fastest steel inverted coasters in all of southeastern United States. Inverted meaning the tracks are above you and not below you, so your feet are dangling for the entire ride. Montu boasts a 150 foot lift hill. It will plunge you right need to back get down to another go at speeds this. of 65 miles per hour before flipping you upside down a total of seven times. Now we are entering the Serengeti Belt. This is home to our live, wild, free roaming animals. Tower and an adult male giraffe can reach heights of up to 18 feet tall. Giraffes can also see in full color and have a 360 degree field of vision. Now giraffes can and do lay down, however they like to do most of their activities standing up. This does include eating, sleeping, and even giving birth, which means a baby giraffe's first experience in this world is a six foot drop to the ground. You might also see some white animals with curly horns on the left side. Those are Adax antelope. Adax antelope are an extremely endangered species. There are less than 300 left in the wild. is known as a crash. They are the third largest land mammal, weighing in about four to six thousand pounds. But don't let that size fool you, they are very quick runners, reaching speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, and they can make very agile turns. Now their horns are made of keratin, which is exactly what makes up our own fingernails and hair. So if you really think about it, a rhino's horn is just one long nose hair. After a lovely train ride, we're back in Stanleyville. I really enjoyed that. That was lovely. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a good. We got so close to the giraffe. That was amazing how close we were to yeah. those giraffe. And the zebra. 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 We're in America, so they're zebras. Zebras. And now we're back near Shikra. Well, I don't think we're going on Shikra. I've already been in it twice. Yeah. We're going to go. Yeah, we'll see uh, some lorikeets. See if we got to have a lorikeet encounter. Yeah. We are in the splash zone for Shikra here. No, 
briefly mentioned cheetah hunt on the train. Very rare. Uh, squirrel. There's loads of squirrels around Bush Garden. Great, isn't it? Yeah, we briefly mentioned cheetah hunt while we were on the train. So we, good. Yeah, it's a lot of fun cheetah hunt, isn't it? That's like the most fun I've had on a coaster the whole time I've been here. It's not the most thrilling or like intense. It's the most important, I just smile all the way through it, it's so good. It's a lot of fun, it's a really fun ride. Yeah. So it's, it's probably my favourite ride here. Okay, it's, like, it's definitely my favourite ride here. It's probably my second favourite in Bush Garden. Yeah. 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 I've not been very well. Yeah, you, you had fun on Cheetah. I did, it was really, really good. I'd recommend yeah. it. The, uh, I don't know if we're going the right way, by the way. I have no idea. Uh, I, think, uh, I think the lorry keeps that you want to see are like back around the other way, past the other way, past Sheep Run. Dude. Oh dear. But um, I would say one negative to Cheetah Hunt is that, that inversion is unnecessary. Yeah, that's the only part of it. I didn't, it's just a bit uncomfortable. I, I don't know, like if it was me, I'd just put like another airtime hill there or something. Yeah. Just because uh, it's one thing is that, that the inversion's unnecessary because it's a little bit painful with the restraints. Uh, just like, well, for me, it like it dug into my shoulders a bit. Because uh, for co comparison to the UK, it's the same restraints as the have on Rita and Stealth. So you can imagine going upside down with that digging into your shoulder blades if you're like a taller person like me. It, see, I'm small and it weren't my shoulders that were comfortable for my thighs. Yeah, like the bar across yeah. your thighs. So I yeah. still it's thoroughly a, enjoy the ride. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's still an enjoyable ride. I just, I'll just get rid of the inversion and have another hill there instead. Yeah. We're in Lorikeet Landing. I miss the feeding. Ah. I'm rushing me around. Not rushing, we're enjoying some lorikeets now. Very cool bird. Hello, duckies. Laura keeps going getting a drink. This one's a blue streak to Laurie. Ooh, it's going over there. <laughs> they must be friends. Yeah. Little Laura keep friends. Yeah. It's a thick build parrot, in case you didn't hear Stevie. The chatty lorry keeps. It might be nearly bedtime. Yeah. Yeah, this area of the park does close in a few minutes' time. The lorry keeps are all getting ready to. Well, they're having a bit of snack there. And then imagine they'll all have a big sleep. Mm. Nearly or lorry keep bedtime. Them, really nice birdies, aren't they? <laughs> this one's puffed all its feathers up. I think it's going to eat you in a minute. No, I think it's a bit soggy and it's going to dry out. Oh, no. Parrot's just in a tree out in the open here in the park. See if he's communicating with the animals. <laughs> We're just waiting for the tram back to the parking lot. On the uh, train. Yeah, it is. As you can probably see behind us, it's uh, it's the first proper rain we've had for a few days, actually. It is, yeah. And we've got like all the day done with all the trainers. Yeah, good timing for the rain, anyway. Uh, towards the end of the day there, I had another go, I had another two goes on Monty actually, I did front row and back row. And it was way more intense than it was when we went on in the morning. I think it just hadn't warmed up. And then I did Cheetah Hunt again on the back row, which is good. I said the only thing that's stopping Cheetah Hunt from being excellent is the restraints and the open the inline roll. I really like Outline roll is uh, unnecessary. 
Yeah, I do agree with that. That's a good ride though. Yeah, I just killed the alligator, so I thought it was great. Looks like our tram's pulling in now, so we'll resume chatting once we're on the tram. Well, it's three months later now, and obviously we're not in Florida anymore, and we never did finish recording the closing video for this Bush Gardens vlog. It was absolutely chucking it down, as you will have seen from the last little bit there, as we were about to get onto the tram back to the car park, and there was all rain coming sideways into the side of the tram, so the camera wasn't coming back out again. We just drove straight home and never did record a closing video. But Bush Gardens, just to wrap this up quickly, because I think this video is already like an hour long, and. We, we need to wrap it up, it's getting a bit long this. Um, so yes, I'm rambling again. Bush Gardens is very, very good, really enjoyed it. Uh, quickly went back on Montu a couple of times at the end of the day after that semi-disappointing run on it in the morning and it was a lot better. I think we when we went on it in the morning, it was on a train that had literally had one test run and then we got on it and it was a, a little bit sluggish. When it was run in, when it had run in for the day, absolutely fantastic intense all the way through the layout just think nemesis in terms of intensity all the way through but it's bigger longer and faster so I'm, I'm afraid it has its overtaken nemesis in terms of my favorite invert as montu it's fantastic still not to say that nemesis is uh, is a bad ride by any means it's just montu is that little bit better in terms of my rankings Anyway, we'll leave it there. As I said, this video is long enough for now. Hope you've enjoyed it. Apologies, it's a little bit late, by the way, as well. Things have been very busy recently, and editing an hour-long vlog, um, have not had much spare time to do that in the evenings and at weekends and stuff, so it's a little bit later than first planned. Uh, I think the, the next one, next vlog that's coming out from Florida will probably be from Epcot Food and Wine Festival, our first ever trip there, so you've got that to look forward to. And of course we've got our opening day vlog from Blackpool Pledge Beach, which we'll be recording this upcoming Saturday. So thanks very much for watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow our adventures, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.